where you can sign up to be in like a tomato fight. They provide you with the tomatoes and then all you get to do is like throw freaking tomatoes at people. How fun is that? I also would like to do a version of that same thing with cake. Hi, I'm Amelia and welcome back to Ramp It Up, where we take an ingredient you might have in your kitchen and show you two ways to level it up at home. <laughs> Hey guys, Amelia here. Today we're shooting Ramp It Up from my kitchen. Super fun. We're breaking out of our tomato salad rut and we're going to play with tomatoes in a totally different way. We are going to blend them. We're going to strain out the water from the pulp. We're gonna to make tomato water. I'm gonna use the tomato water on a dish that I made up kind of like based on a Japanese cold soba dish. A cold soba dish is gonna cool you right down. It's a great dish for summer. All right, I have my tomatoes here. Um, you need about two pounds. You don't even need to cut them. It's so easy, so we'll just drop some of these tomatoes in here. Just like that. Put the lid on, very important. Tomato will get everywhere if you don't have a lid on. You wanna pulverize them very, like, really well because you want to make sure that you're going to separate as much flesh from the water as possible. So getting a really good puree is essential to this dish. So this is a conical strainer. It's really good for making stocks. You can pour your stock through and it'll catch all your vegetables. Also good for something like this. This is cheesecloth. People use it for straining extra I, when you want to strain a little bit more fine than what uh, this will do like this is a very fine strainer, but this is gonna like Extra ensure that you're gonna separate the pulp from the liquid we have our Very very pureed tomato here My tomatoes are mm, they smell so good. They're super pureed and we're just gonna pour it in and You should start to see it come out the bottom After this part you're gonna need time so you don't have to cook. So if you're gonna be making tomato water, you wanna have it cold, uh, you could prep this the day before and just be ready to go the next day. Um, but you'll need about two hours to get from this part to the part where you can use the tomato water. And if you say, oh no, what do you do with all this tomato flesh? What a waste. It's not a waste. You can take the tomato flesh, season it with salt, make some pan con tomate, which is a Spanish dish that is just toasted bread with tomato pulp and salt. And it's absolutely delicious. Lots of olive oil too. Don't hold, don't skimp on the olive oil. While the tomato water is doing its thing, letting gravity pull the water out of the pulp, we are gonna prepare the vegetables for the cold soba dish. So that's gonna be garlic, ginger, scallion, and cucumbers. We're waiting for our pan to heat up right now. It's getting there. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of oil in it. We're not trying to like sear the vegetables. We're just trying to like gently cook it. So we'll just drop these in right now. So I'll start with some scallion whites. They've been cut on a bias. And then I'll put some ginger. And I'm using the ginger, I'm cooking the ginger first because it's a little bit hardier than like the garlic. And so it'll just take a little bit more time to cook. So we'll do that. And we're just gonna cook these things until they start to become like translucent and softened. Those are your visual indicators. Then we'll add the cherry tomatoes. These are massive cherry tomatoes, <laughs> the biggest. We'll add the tomatoes, we'll not call them cherry. <laughs> and we're gonna cook these until they begin to burst. So we're gonna add also the garlic and all those garlicky flavors, garlicky, all of those garlicky flavors, <laughs> all of the garlicky flavors can make it into the tomato. So it'll be really nice. Just roll those around the hot oil. We're just waiting for the tomatoes to just get a little burst. So you'll see the skin break and then that's when it's time to add in the cucumbers. And we're not gonna cook them at all. We're just gonna like add the cucumber just to release the liquid from the cucumber. So, take that off the heat, stir it around. You can see the cucumber is starting to look a little more tender. All of my tomatoes are burst. And that's it. We just lightly cook the vegetables, 
At this time, um, I would chill them, put them in a bowl, and then we're gonna take these and just pop them in the fridge for like 20 minutes to cool down. And then while the vegetables are cooling in the refrigerator, I am going to make the soba noodles. I've cooked them, I've tossed them in a little sesame oil to keep them from sticking, and then I pop them in the fridge and they're chill. A few hours have passed. You can see here that the tomato water has separated from the flesh. I'll show you what the flesh looks like. I'll move this to here. And then we're gonna season the tomato water with two teaspoons of salt. And now we're just stirring it until the salt granules have dissolved. Um, it's good to season the water. It'll bring out all the flavors of all the food. We are all dissolved here and ready. We have some cooked and chilled soba here. We have our cooked and chilled vegetables. We have our strained tomato water. And now I'm just gonna build you a plate. Like I said, you can make any of these components the day before and have them ready to go for the next day. And then you don't even have to lift a finger. So we will let's take some, a serving of soba. These are buckwheat noodles. And then now we have our cooked and chilled vegetables. We will put our tomato water in there. You just want enough to coat the vegetables. It's not soup, it's not, you know, it's just a, like a little sauce that's gonna be flavoring the noodles. So we are gonna throw some fresh scallions, which I love a lot. And we have some toasted sesame seeds, which right here. I always like a little bit of heat. Uh, we've got some chili oil here and I'm just gonna be real generous with it because I love this oil. Mm. <laughs> mm. The tomato water is very prominent. It's gently there like the flavor of tomato isn't like like I said, bam, in your face tomato, it's like a gentle tomato. But because I've seasoned the water, all of those flavors are coming out so, so nicely. And the noodles are cold and it's just super refreshing. This is a cold dish, so I definitely recommend that if you want a very refreshing lunch or dinner, this is your new summer dish, your summer soba dish. All right, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna eat my lunch right now. Um, make it. Let me know how you feel about it. Like, subscribe, all the things, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, Amelia here from Ramp It Up. Did you like this video? Then make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for more. That's to go with the, scene, the, the clip of me talking about tomato fights. Okay.